What does it take to build one of the most advanced stadiums in the world? Try a 360 degree, 5,800 square meter video board, the largest in the world I might add, and a 17,200 ton retractable roof The cranes open like a camera lens in just 12 minutes. This is the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, a 75,000 seat engineering marvel that pushed the boundaries of design, technology, and human ambition. Now, building this engineering marvel wasn't easy. Workers had to install 220 meter long steel trusses, battle extreme heights, yeah, I think so, and make sure the retractable roof worked flawlessly. The pressure was immense. With deadlines looming and risks at every turn, one mistake could have set the entire project back by months. So, how did engineers overcome these challenges to create a stadium unlike any other? Let's find out. Atlanta has always been a city of sports. From hosting the 1996 Olympic Games to cheering on legendary teams, this city lives and breathes competition. But its main stage, the Georgia Dome, was starting to fall behind. Built in 1992, the Georgia Dome had seen it all, Super Bowls, Final Fours, and unforgettable moments. But compared to the high-tech arenas popping up across the country, it was starting to show its age. It lacked the cutting-edge features that fans and teams had come to expect. Now, the Atlanta Falcons and Major League Soccer's Atlanta United needed a stadium that would elevate the fan experience while making Atlanta a go-to destination for global events. And that's where Mercedes-Benz's stadium came in, a $1.2 billion project. It was designed to be a symbol of progress, blending architectural beauty with engineering brilliance. The vision? A sleek, futuristic stadium with a revolutionary roof and world-class amenities. But turning this dream into a reality required one of the most complex construction projects in sports history. It all started with an 18-acre foundation, the very backbone of the entire structure. But this wasn't any foundation. It had to withstand immense pressure, carrying the weight of the massive stadium above. To make it rock solid, workers poured thousands of tons of concrete and reinforced it with steel, ensuring it could bear the extreme loads to come. With the groundwork set, the next challenge loomed overhead, the mega columns. Instead of using numerous smaller columns like most stadiums, this stadium relied on just 19 towering concrete supports. Each one had to be precisely engineered, capable of holding up the 19,000 ton roof without fail. The goal? To maximize open space for spectators while ensuring the entire structure remained stable. But the real test was still to come. The roof couldn't simply be lifted into place all at once. It had to be put together in sections, piece by piece, hundreds of meters above the ground. To achieve this, workers hoisted and secured enormous steel trusses, some engineering a staggering 220 meters across the stadium. These steel giants formed the skeletal framework that would eventually hold the retractable roof. Getting these steel giants into position was no easy feat. To keep these enormous trusses stable, the team constructed 60-meter-high steel towers, temporary giants designed to hold the beams in place until the permanent supports were ready. But the real test? The jackdown process, when the entire weight of the roof had to be delicately shifted from these temporary towers onto the permanent mega columns. This, needless to say, guys, was a high-stakes operation, a moment where precision was everything. One wrong move, one wrong calculation, one misstep, and a disaster would strike. The crew relied on hydraulic jacks, each applying immense force to lower the trusses inch by inch. But as the steel framework adjusted to the shift in weight, the entire structure groaned under the pressure, a deep, unsettling reminder of just how much force was at play. And then, trouble. The hinges began to bend under the stress, a warning sign that things could spiral out of control. Failure wasn't an option. The team had to move fast. Emergency reinforcements were rushed in. Thick steel plates were welded onto the hinges to provide extra strength and prevent failure. It was a race against time, with welders working at breakneck speed to secure the structure before disaster struck. 
Now this didn't take like 30 minutes or even an hour. It took 18 excruciating hours. The team worked through the night monitoring every shift, every movement, every bolt. One mistake and the entire structure could come crashing down. But then, finally, the trusses settled into place and the roof held firm. Disaster had been narrowly avoided, but for the workers on site, this was only the first battle in a much bigger war to bring the stadium to life. Inside the stadium, an engineering marvel was taking place, one that would redefine the fan experience. The Halo Board, a colossal 5,760 square meter video screen, which was the largest 360 degree scoreboard ever built. Instead of traditional flat, rectangular display, this massive screen wrapped seamlessly around the opening of the retractable roof ensuring every spectator had a view no matter where they sat. But creating the world's largest continuous video screen wasn't easy. How do you build something this massive without overwhelming the stadium structure? A standard flat screen design was out of the question. It would have been twice as heavy as the steel framework could handle, so engineers had to rethink the entire approach. The solution? A revolutionary lightweight LED panel system made up of 1,848 specialized cabinets, each designed to distribute weight efficiently while delivering high-definition visuals. And then there was another challenge, one that had never been tackled before. The retractable roof part of this whole thing. This isn't a fixed structure, it moved, expanding and contracting like petals on a flower. With every shift, the stadium steel frame subtly adjusted. If the halo board was rigid, even the slightest movement could cause a structural stress or misalignment. So how did the engineers prevent a catastrophe? The solution was brilliant! Expansion joints. These flexible connection points were integrated into the board's frame, allowing it to flex and absorb movement without breaking or cracking. It was a small detail with a massive importance. Now the final test was powering up the 37 million LED lights that made up the massive screen. As the first images illuminated the stadium, the Halo board proved to be a revolutionary leap in stadium technology. And then came the biggest challenge of all, the retractable roof. Unlike any roof before this, this one was designed to open and close in just 12 minutes. An engineering feat that had never been attempted on this scale. But speed wasn't the only challenge though. How do you move thousands of tons of steel with precision while maintaining a perfect weatherproof seal? Great question. The answer lay in cutting edge engineering, where every piece had to work in perfect harmony to ensure fans and players stay dry no matter what. Traditional retractable roofs relied on two large panels that roll back slowly. But for this stadium, engineers needed something faster, lighter, and more efficient. The solution was a groundbreaking design featuring eight massive steel sections, known as pedals. Each pedal had to slide along a system of 16 rails, moving in perfect sync without colliding. The inner rails guided the pedals across the opening, while the outer wheels locked underneath, keeping them balanced at all times. Sounds impressive, right? But assembling these pedals was no easy task. Each section weighed over 450 tons, far too heavy to be lifted into place in a single move. So how'd they do it? They broke it down. Engineers broke each pedal into four separate pieces, a heel that connected to the fixed roof, two middle sections, and a tip that extended over the stadium bowl. This meant every single piece had to be hoisted hundreds of feet into the air and precisely bolted together, without even the slightest misalignment. And that's where things got even more intense, if you can believe it. The iron workers responsible for these installations weren't just dealing with steel and bolts. They were having to deal with the weather, too. Working at extreme heights, they had to guide these enormous frames into position. All the while, wind gusts threatened to send them swinging away like wrecking balls. A single miscalculation could throw everything off. One worker even described the experience as a mix of adrenaline and absolute precision. Suspended on steel beams with nothing but open air below, every move mattered. There was no room for error. And after months of grueling effort, the moment of truth had arrived. Would the pedals actually close as planned? The team powered up the system, 96 motors humming to life, each one driving the pedals along their designated paths. Every inch of the movement had to be perfect. One wrong calculation, one unexpected obstacle, and the entire mechanism could jam. And the command was punched in, the motors hummed to life, and the pedals began to slide. And every movement was closely monitored, with engineers on standby to stop the process at the first sign of trouble. Inch by inch, the steel sections moved towards the center, converging to create a perfect seal. And then, success! 
It worked! The pedals aligned flawlessly. The roof was officially closed, making a massive victory for the entire team. Now with the roof secured, focus shifted to the finishing touches. The stadium skeleton was in place, but there was still a long way to go before it could stand as a world-class venue. One of the biggest undertakings? Installing 71,000 seats, each placed by hand. Unlike conventional stadiums that rely on a standard concrete seating structure, Mercedes-Benz Stadium required a meticulously arranged system of lightweight yet ultra-durable seating beams. Crews worked tirelessly, section by section, deep into the night. Every seat had to be bolted down with absolute precision, ensuring that every seat was securely attached and aligned for the best possible fan experience. Now behind the scenes, a web of electrical wiring, stretching for thousands of miles, had to be installed in to power everything from the stadium lights to the massive scoreboards and cutting-edge audio systems. Without it, the spectacle inside would be impossible. And then came the air circulation. With Atlanta's scorching heat, keeping the stadium cool wasn't a luxury, it was a necessity. Engineers tackled the challenge head-on, installing over 1,100 tons of ductwork to push cool air into every corner of the arena. Plumbers worked tirelessly, connecting more than 1,500 toilets and sinks to ensure fans had fully functional facilities. And in the stadium's heart, massive concession areas were being built, designed to serve tens of thousands of fans at once, without long lines or delays. And outside, construction crews raced to complete the futuristic geometric facade. Unlike traditional stadium exteriors, Mercedes-Benz stadium design relied on interlocking steel and glass panels, each one meticulously cut and fitted to form an intricate exoskeleton. And the result was a dazzling light-reflecting masterpiece that stood out from anything built before. And then finally, the crown jewel, the playing field. Crews carefully laid down the turf, painted the lines, and performed the final inspections. After years of design, engineering, and sheer determination, Mercedes-Benz Stadium was ready. Opened in 2017, it stands as one of the most advanced sports arenas ever built, a venue now commonly considered to be one of the best in the world. So what do you think about Mercedes-Benz Stadium incredible design and engineering challenges? Let us know down in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications.